All right, we're going to go ahead and talk about Easy Mix and how I use it in my side of the mixing. I've done mixing, I've done mastering using Easy Mix. Typically, what Luke and I do is I come up with the recordings, I add my Easy Mix plugins to it, and then he goes from there. So we're going to kind of talk about what I use and what I used on this specific recording. Go ahead and add Easy Mix to the lead vocal. The one I selected first is the DSer. So I'll go ahead and find the DSer. So I've selected DS. And I typically turn it up maybe just a little bit past halfway. For some reason, my S's seem to stick out when I talk or when I sing. So this is a really handy plug-in for me. I'll go ahead and let you hear it just with the DS on. And I'll turn it off here so you can hear it a little bit more. Gotta find a way to... About these feelings that are so strong, yeah. So it's a real subtle effect, and I probably notice it more than anybody just because I'm so used to hearing my voice. But again, if I've got songs I've recorded where there's a lot of S, maybe I'll crank it up just a little bit more to kind of help me personally with my S's. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add the next plugin that I like to use. And for some reason, this seems to be my go to plugin. I use it all the time, I like the way it makes my voice sound. I don't even really know what's going on behind it, which is kind of the joy of using the product. But I like the compression and I like the dry wet. So I'll add the Easy Mix to it. This is Ambient Vocal is the actual plugin within Easy Mix. Again, I typically turn the compression up maybe just a little over halfway. And with this particular plugin and this particular song, I'm going to bring the dry wet mix down maybe around 24, 25%. I'll let you hear this. Lost. No, no, no. Gotta find a way I'll go ahead and bypass it. These that are so, strong. so instantly you hear there's no wetness to it, and also the presence is reduced just a little bit. I'll bring it back in. For everything that you do. I just want to call. I'll bring up the wetness just a little bit so you can kind of hear the effect. For everything, baby, that you do, yeah. And I guess if we were going for kind of a 90s ballad, you could crank up that wetness a little bit. But I'll start over here and let you hear it again. Lost, no. Gotta find a way to move on. One thing I've found about this effect that I really like is that you it's hear the wetness in exposed vocal so areas, strong. but when the instruments are building and when the instruments are really strong, the effect gets blended in a little bit so it doesn't stand out a lot, which I really like about the effect. So we'll go ahead and leave it maybe around 25%. That you do. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add a third Easy Mix plugin to this track. This is one that's kind of new to me. It's 90s vocals. I'd never really used it before. I was just looking for something new to experiment with, and this one was kind of cool. I used it mainly because of the echo, and I brought it down a little bit. What I thought was kind of neat, again, similar to the ambient vocal, is that you don't really hear it while the song is going on or in the mix. You hear it more on some of the exposed areas. And then the edge affects the EQ, the mids, and the highs. And so you can kind of mess with that and get what you want. I had it maybe turned up around 66, 67%. But I'll go ahead and let you listen to this and I'll turn it off and turn it on so you can hear the difference. Lost, no, no, no. Gotta find a way to move on. Despite these feelings that are so strong, yeah. Makes a subtle difference, but I kind of like the echo, the delay that it adds to the vocal track. For everything. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add the fourth plugin that I typically use. And sometimes I just use three. Again, like I said, I don't always use the 90s plugin. This one is very simply called Airy Vocals. I'm noticing that most of my vocal plugins are at the top of the list. Maybe that's just because TuneTrack makes good plugins and I can kind of stay there without diving in too much. Airy Vocals, when I'm using it at least, I turn it all the way down 
what you can see here when I hover over it, it's an EQ compressor, a low pass filter, a high pass filter, and it just helps my vocals. It takes a lot of the low end out and cleans up the mids, and I just think sounds better. I'll go ahead and let you hear a little bit of it. Lost, no. Find a way to move on Despite these feelings that are so strong Yeah I just want to call on you So I hate to use the word thin out because I don't think that's appropriate but I do feel it just pulls a little bit of that low end out helps the vocals kind of pop a little bit and again I have it completely turned off I don't use the space function because through the ambient vocal effect, I'm getting a little bit of that space and that reverb that I like. So I turn that off and the air function again that does the EQ, the compression, filters, low pass, high pass. I just have it off. It seems to work. I'm sure there's other ways you could experiment with it. But for me, this just seems to work. And for a lot of my recordings, this is the setup that I've used. Again, the 90s vocal is not something I use all the time. I've just used it for this project. I liked the delay that it put on it, the echo, and something I would use in the future. Typically, I just use the Three, the de the ambient vocal, and the airy vocals on most of my projects, and I really like the way they turn out.